Okay, here's a little trick to help you test relays. You know, oftentimes you wonder if a relay is working and it's kind of hard to test. Very easy thing we all do is you take one relay out, swap the other relay. If the system works, then the relay's bad. But what if you swap them and nothing changes? Then you're wondering, is the relay any good? Trying to test it can be a problem sometimes. Here's a quick way. If you look at the relay box, you can see that they're oftentimes buried. If you want to try and test it, you can't get underneath it to back probe it. You pull it out, and many times you can't even get your test probe down in there because they're recessed. So how do we do that? Well, you take, it, take the very same relay you want to test, and we're just going to make it its own tester. Here's how you do it. Just take some regular old wire that you got around the shop that has to be stranded wire. Stranded wire, just cut it open to where you can get these out. And I've already got some of the strands open here and you just take the relay that you want to make a test unit and you hook it on here and you wrap this wire around it pull it tight and you bring it up to the top and then you take another strand of wire and you do it on the second one. Now, I've already got one made up to save a little time and it looks like this you just wrap the strand around it bring the wire up to the top do it on all four take regular old black tape wrap it around there now you've got yourself a test relay all the probes that are going down into the fuse box are now up to the top where you can get to them show you how that works get my pins all set up right put that relay back in there take our test light now here's the one that should have power at all times this one should have ground ground and ground so the relay is good now if we put it right here I'm going to go turn the key on and you should see that light up when I turn the key on. Lights up for just three seconds and then it powers down the way the system should be. So this tells you you have good power and you have good ground and you have good comp computer control through that relay. If any of that didn't work, then you know where you've got to start to test again. So that's a quick way to be able to test a relay with the relay you've got.